singing and the world gets red black. Hi guys, welcome back to All About You. We have our first round opponent. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Joshua Bandy. All right, Joshua. So what are you playing today? Uh, blue, yellow, golden freezers. Ooh, nice. And you're going against a red, blue Vegeta? How do you think that uh, match up fares? For the most part, I mostly favor the Vegeta in my opinion, but as long as I'm able to stop most of your threats, I should be able to stall the game long enough. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially if we hit to the mid to late game, that's when you start shining. And I start going downhill. <laughs> So this is, should be pretty fun. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna recap after the first round and we'll talk a little bit about our games. All right, cool. All right, thank you, good luck. Yep. All right, guys, we just finished round one and uh, talk a little bit about the games. Uh, it's just a Vegeta matchup. The, the struggling with trying to get cards and they kind of had an advantage against the Vegeta is almost impossible, but. So it just got started out for cards. Game one, made a couple of misplays, tapped out and shouldn't have. Game two, I ended up not being able to put up, go into pressure enough to win the game, and he outcome with me. Yeah, even though game two was a much better game than game yeah. one. It lasted like a good seven, eight turns, yeah. which was really nice. Uh, I really enjoyed playing you, and yeah. keep up the good work. Just uh, you know, shake yeah. off that nervousness, <laughs> and you'll be fine. Yeah, man. Thanks right. again. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we are at round two, and I am facing John Tatter. And he is from Kitchen Table Meta. You guys already know that team. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are we playing here today? I'm playing Androids. Oh, that's kind of a scary matchup for me, guys. I'm playing Vegeta. I don't know. It's going to be a little scary. See how it goes. <laughs> um, how do you think that matchup goes? Uh, I've had some success against it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's. Like any deck, Vegeta can just win out of nowhere. It so can. It has the possible. ability to do that. But, you know, Cell Chain's pretty rough for you, but, you know, never know what could happen. That is true. All right, guys, so we're going to go back for the second take after our games. All right. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, we just finished round two, and I got my shit pushed in. Um, talk a little bit about the games. Uh, games played out usually the way the games of uh, Androids and Vegeta play out. Is that, uh, Sniffle, sad yeah, faces. Got a uh, cell chain on turn three, uh, both games, which was pretty lucky. Um, and then also game two, I had to actually cell chain a second time because uh, oh, you tended to play a little, uh, you know, mid range game and just went later because I couldn't awaken. Yeah. So uh, you know, that's really, you know, what happened? You skilled yourself down to three or four life, then Cell kind of takes care of the rest. I had 11, 12 cards, guys, exactly. and it worked out to yeah. me. Both times you lost eight cards, so. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's just like just all kinda, that hard work. It kind of worked out that way. So. But it was still fun nonetheless. It was still, you know, the games were actually pretty close regardless because they came down within that one turn. You know, you get Cell Chain or you don't get Cell Chain. Yeah. You know, it just, it just happened to have the Cell Chain. Yeah. So. Well, it was fun, and I hope I see you in top cut, uh, just not early in top cut. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the beginning of round three, and I am playing against? Raymond Soriano. All right, so what deck are you playing? Soul Striker, guys, and I am playing the Vegeta matchup. So, how do you think this matchup goes? Well... I don't think my, my Soul Striker has familiar. a bad match anymore. It's, it's a tough game, so <laughs> yeah. let's see how, how it works out. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be nice. So what we'll do is we'll recap after our games and talk a little bit about it. Sure. All right, thank you. Good luck. Do you have a team? All right, guys. We just finished our match. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about it. It was a little crazy. Well, uh, first game, uh, it, was, it was a good game. Uh, I didn't drew, draw my negates. Um, Anthony hit every Champa yeah. for a double strike. I was, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so he always searched a uh, ch uh, double strike Champa. Critical double strike three times with Vegeta. Couldn't stop it. No negates. No combo oh, cards. Man. So it was. It was, it was pretty for okay. unfortunate for me. Yeah. yeah. He didn't uh, have the answers. Yeah, it was unfortunate for me. Still a good game. Yeah. Um, game two, though. No, no game, game two was better. Game, Honestly, I didn't game two expect was super to get that Even though I didn't, in, I didn't draw <laughs> a green energy. <laughs> he didn't have a green energy to play Gotenks until or any Kale. Until turn five. Yeah. So until turn five. And he that, only played one green. And I had to search it. He with, had to search with it. With Bulma. With so, Bulma. So, yeah. But. It, and all in all, it was a good game. I think I misplayed a bit. I should have sensed to beat when I attacked. You should have. And that 5K would have let me win. So yeah. yeah. So that that was my misplay. 
All in all, it was a good game. I sat in the Jackals. They did work for me. They yeah. stopped and attack. Good card against Vegeta. Very good. Very so, good. Yeah. It was a good game. And all in all, it was good. Yeah. So, our games are... Especially oh, yeah. game two. Game two was really nice. The only thing was he didn't have his green energy, like yeah. he said. Or I, <laughs> I didn't see my green cards either. No, no green cards. No okay, and no, no, so. all my guys were missing. Yeah. My little chompas this game. The first game I was hitting everything. The, the second game I, he I kept three chompas. missing <laughs> back to back to back. Yeah, it was, it was, it was oh, pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yeah, I negged myself three cards. Yeah. I was just like, ah. Oh. But, but, but it was close. It was a good game. It was so, a yeah. fun game. It yeah. was. Well, just keep doing well in the tournament. We still have a good chance of topping. Just, you know, keep strong. Yeah. That was fun. Good game. Thank you. Hi, guys. Right now, we are entering round four. And I am with... John Bank. And what are we playing today? Uh, I'm playing Golden Frieza today. Oh, Golden Frieza. And I am playing Blue Red Vegeta. How do you think that matchup is? Uh, it's going to be a fun match. That's what it's going to be. Definitely, like definitely. Green. What do you think are like the strengths and weaknesses? <laughs> Golden Frieza can keep the card advantage just because of his effect, but he still loses out to crit early game while that nerf on Vegeta hurts. A good player can play around. Absolutely. So we are going to have a fun game and we'll recap after the end of the round. Good luck. Right, good luck. Hey guys, we just finished our match. Let's talk a little bit about it. All right, I just got tilled by Anthony Hernandez, and hey, I'll take that loss. I gotta play against a really great player. Thank you. And I, he let me see how different ways that she can be played just by everybody's different play style. And surprisingly, I lost to, to Vichita on a no charge, too. So that's extremely surprising. And that's a unique way of playing. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about the untapping cards, especially on the offense? Like <laughs> utilizing Sensu Bean and besides just the trunks? Uh, yeah, the untapping, especially in Vichita, it's, it's what lets you push as hard for game. And even in Golden Frieza, it's the same thing. It lets you do an extra push. Yeah. It allows you, if you have a built-in push. While yep. me, I just have to draw into the actual cards that do it. Um, talk a little bit about how game one and two went. Uh, game one, I was able to open up with all my negations. So I was able to stall it out long enough. But what got me was the six drop Chompa that he evolved. Yes. Even though I Kovalas it, that threat was too huge. <laughs> I had to wipe it off the board, which I didn't want to do. It changed his whole play, because he had two plays, but it's like he had to go for the immediate threat first, because then, then that card would just stay there and it would be a problem. And like, uh, on turn four, when I can a Terra, looking at his hand and seeing three Blitz Attack Piccolos, <laughs> that was already guaranteed I was going to lose in the combo phase. Yeah. So he had to avoid, he was playing a lot of timely negates. There was even at a point where I had only one energy, guys, and I was like, hmm, does he have the negate? Because I had to untap chunks in my hand, but I'm like, if he negates me, I'm stuck with no energy and I can't push for game. So yeah. I was like, Ugh. I would have like, combo my whole oh, hand. Oh, no, he would have been good. Happened. Yeah, and I was like, uh, uh, and I was like, no. Yeah, he did the safe play. Yeah. And that, that was what really saved him. Yeah. This hand of 12, it's no joke. <laughs> yeah, each game I had like 12 and up. <laughs> but it was still awesome playing you know? and it's, it was an interesting matchup. You do play Golden Frieza differently because I'm actually used to players being a little too timid and they allow me to gain a little too much advantage where they don't even play negates, they don't play anything and it's like they'll just take the Awaken easy without giving a fight for Awakening. Yeah, for me how I like playing is I like to force you to Awaken me Yeah, and that, that helps me build up my board in hand. Yes. Because it allows you to save resources, and then when I'm making for the when I'm going for those pushes, then I lose value on those on those type of plays. Yeah, because like even when I uh, when you chomp it, I still took that damage, but I dropped the threat, so yes. that helped me that next turn. Yeah, and he was able to put pressure on me, which allowed me to not be able to crit him the following turn, unless I was willing to take a life. Which again, once Vegeta's awakened, guys, you got to be careful taking a life, unless you're in a in, in a good controlled situation where you know your hand is very strong. But um, other than that, it was phenomenal playing and keep doing well in the event.
All right, good game. Hey guys, we are at the start of round five, and I am playing? Kevin Bridges. Okay, and what are you playing today, Kevin? Mecha Freezer. Woo, Mecha. Mecha is really good for this format. So, uh, what? <laughs> depends on what you're playing. It depends. Yeah. True. <laughs> Matchups matter, guys. It really does. It is not good against <laughs> Mecha Broly. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> But um, right now, you'll be playing my uh, Red Blue Vegeta. Um, and uh, what do you think about the matchup? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a wild card. I've not played Vegeta very much at all. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So it's a new approach, and I guess we'll find out what happens at the end of the game. Hey guys, right now we just entered round what? Six? six? Round six. And I think last time it was round six too. Or was it round seven? Seven. 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 All right, so now we're playing sooner. You guys already know the former champ from the first regional ever, and he's been topping frequently, but for some odd reason, guys, we keep playing each other. What the hell? These freaking pairings are rigged. <laughs> Yo. Damn, well, you already know what you're playing against. I'm playing Vegeta. You're playing Mecha. So this is going to be a different matchup. Different, yeah. Last time it was both Vegeta. Yeah. First time we actually played something different. Yeah. Yeah, because before that was so... Yeah. So, yeah. This is going to be something. All right, bro. Best of luck to you. Damn, good luck to you, son. You just... Ah. All right, man. All right, guys. We just finished round six. Yeah. Ah, let's get that recap, Alejandro. Uh, uh, I got my ass two would again, but it's all good. It was my worst matchup. So. Yes, yeah, that was a, yeah, it's really yeah, bad, guys. It is. But Mecca it's all good. Vegeta. I just gotta win out three more rounds. This is, now it's less than a local. That ass, I know. Yeah, but it's a bunch of other X twos, and I hope for the best. Yeah. All right. Nah. As long as you win out, you carry me the shit. <laughs> nah, definitely, you carry definitely. Me there again. I just All gotta right, keep bro. kicking ass. Yeah, but take it easy. Thanks a lot and went out, boy. Still respecting the princess. <laughs> hey guys, we are in the beginning of round seven, and you guys should know this face by now. We got Sawyer in the house. Uh, he won. He just really recently won a very big event uh, that just occurred, and uh, it was really nice. That was the Ohio event, right? Yep. Toledo 1K. Toledo 1K, guys, and he killed it with Red Blue Vegeta, which is. What I'm playing today, just my variant. And he is playing the Lord himself. Uh, I'm no longer following him anymore, so you already know how that's going to go. So, uh, how do you think this is going to play out? Not good for me. We'll see, though. We'll see, we'll see guys. We'll I'm see. I'm just hoping you miss on all those one drops. That's the goal. If I do, like, I don't know. That would be that some crazy miracles. All right, guys, so we're going to get back to you after the, little, after the game is over. Like me and Android. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back to now the end of round seven. I was just playing. Juan. <laughs> you guys already know him. Reppin' PPG. You already know. Um, <laughs> so uh, talk a little bit about the games. <laughs> as far as this game or just um, In general, our, well, this hour match specifically. Well... Like game one, I, I know like Blood Rush just, just sucks. <laughs> like, it's just a matchup. Crush your ball is definitely like, where you want to be at. Yeah, like Blood Rush just doesn't do anything. Um, like, yeah, like I can stop you from like searching from, like, like, <laughs> top seven. Yeah, searching top seven or like just drawing yeah. or, or maybe like just the last thing, but it's just not enough. Because essentially, the Crush your balls do the same thing, um, but you still just plus the scores. But it's in, uh, the leader's obviously the biggest issue because he's the one that gives you just crit all the time, but. It's uh, the little creatures that I have to stop, and this is not like this is a bad matchup like, overall. So it I really tried is. to. I saw that one Jocko, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, he actually the to... moment I hit him further, he's like, "Nah, I'm not taking that <laughs> shit. That's too early for that." Yeah, like, it's just nothing like I could have done with the matchup. It's just, it's just, it's just difficult overall. So. Yeah. He got a this matchup is similar to like my uh, Android chain cell chain matchup, yeah, which me, he would stomp the shit out of that. But me, like, like, like me and Ali were just like just playing the same list. Um, yeah. There's just things in the side that are, that are different, and different. I'm playing the combo fusions, so they're a little better than the than the little go tanks. But I think combo fusions just like, no, of course yeah. you get free free cards. Yeah. He has a little more value on the attack, but you have more value defending, and even on the attack, you're okay. Like, like, my biggest thing is like every time that. The I blow us, I don't want to take a life for it. No, like, that's, absolutely that's just, not. Especially like, Yeah, you want to be able to pay for it. 
Yeah. It's like free is good in the beginning, but it ain't good to be free all the time. Because then you yeah. will be free. <laughs> but, yeah. Awesome. But it's, it's just a hard matchup. It's just skin to win. Yeah. But anyways, it was fun. And after, actually, how about all the other matches? Let's talk a little bit about that. It's be like special in there. Like, they've been fine. Like, I didn't expect to see that many like, mega freezes as, as I look around. I see, yeah, like, I see a whole bunch of mega freezes. And, uh, like, I didn't test much of, against the mirror. And I feel like against, like, like everything else, like, Cell is, like, free. Like, Android is, like, exactly what you know, it's, it's, the base, it's, it's the same thing as Cell, pretty much. And uh, that's wrong. Like, I actually played against a whole Honda. And... That was actually difficult since, because like my creatures don't do anything to their creatures because they have blood blood, so yeah. I have to kill kill the Buhan quick before it starts doing anything. But, yeah, sixty. But um, overall, like it's been fine. Sure. Yeah. Just like a regular video, like, yeah. like uh, just like any you know good player or decent player, like they know what to expect. I like the certain regions that are coming up, so you just prepare for like those matches. And yeah, you just made those decks. Nah, you came well prepared. You you knew that what the meta was, and you've been you're playing a deck that's you know well built. It just has one bad matchup, in my opinion, and that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of like hand decisions with Broly with the micro freezes. Yeah, like that deck caught me off guard. Uh, yeah, like it's good, but there's just too many like extra cards. I agree. I agree. But anyways, you know, thanks for being a part of the interview, and uh, just keep winning out, bro. We gotta have more PPG guys on the top. Hey guys, we just finished round eight, and I am playing my fellow New York player. Why? Why? <laughs> we need all New York players in top, but I think he's gonna really kill it. Talk a little bit about what happened in our games. Well, game one, you know your deck goes very aggressive, and I feel like you you didn't have as good as you wanted no. at all. You missed like your no. three one drops, so your all in is pretty weak in comparison to how it normally is. I just had I had like a seven card hand. No sense no thing. He didn't booster, have the nothing. I, I hit at my weakest. I even told him I was like, I think I'm gonna lose this at one at that first game because I felt like I was just not hitting numbers. I hit like only 55k, like something that normally I'm able to hit much higher. So I lost that one. Game two, more the same, but uh, critted double strike me. Oh, no. Doria, sense of being. That Iron. was disgusting. It was okay. like worst, one of the worst case, you know, worst yeah, case yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much all she wrote. The game was over right there. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But um. Anyways, how do you feel like you're gonna approach any future Vegeta matchups? Because there are a few Vegetas running around, and there might be still some in your bracket now. I just gotta draw well. Yeah, draw, draw well, well. yeah. Like uh, I mean, you miss a few things, but if I draw like. I have two or three sensus. Oh no, you're set. Two boosters. You're set. That's all you're you need. set. And then you just control. Once you hit your your, exactly. your stuff, that's it. So. But um, yeah. And how was your the so far the event overall? Like your rounds. What was like the most interesting matchup you had today, and probably your least favorite? Probably the most interesting was uh, I'm using Bobby Mecha Frieza, mm -hmm. and I faced uh, what's it called? Where Boo absorbs. Oh yeah, the Majin Boo absorption. Boo Han. Boo -han. Boo -han. A Frieza version, a Mecha Frieza version. Yes. So I played one, against one. That was game three. That was a close one. Interesting. That was my my favorite so far. Yeah. That's good. Well, just went out and make New York proud because we got to kill it in the top five. Hey, guys. Welcome to the final round of this regional. And you already know who I'm playing. I'm playing the one and only Patrick Howell. Now. What's up, guys? How how is this matchup gonna go? We're rematching. It's literally an rematch. exact rematch. We'll see how it goes, man. Uh, it, was, it was a close game last time. Hopefully, it'll be a close game this time. Oh, oh. That's for sure. That is for sure. I'm, I'm expecting a, good, a great set. Last round. I always. Oh, this is gonna be mad fun. All right, guys. We just finished our last round. Let's talk about this these games. Um, I mean, it, it pretty much went. Uh, it's a little bit how uh, our match in Indianapolis went. Yeah. I got game one, you got game two, and then uh, game three was close, but I ended up uh, pulling Taking it out. Taking this time. And so, uh, still 12 minutes left on the clock, so. Yeah, good time. We made good time. Yeah, so, uh, sure. well, even one up. one up. I'll see you in the top slot. Let's do this.